special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity. My friends on the panel would know our guest on sight, and so, as usual, we've provided them with blindfolds. Are they all in place, panel? Mm -hmm. They are. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? As you know, in the case of our mystery celebrity, we dispense with all the usual preliminaries, get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with Miss Arlene Francis. Are you associated with the entertainment business? Pardon, I didn't hear you. I, hmm? Are you associated with the entertainment business? Oh, yes. I am considered uh, in the entertainment industry. Oh, you are? <laughs> uh, would you consider yourself an actor? I have been mistaken for an actor, yes. <laughs> Would you consider yourself a leading man? A leading man? Yes. Well, it has so happened that there have been performances where the entire thing has revolved around me, yes. It has? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, are you, uh, have you ever appeared in pictures? I have appeared in pictures, yes, you're have right. Have you been on the stage? I have had the pleasure of playing on the stage also. Uh, do you always talk that way? Because <laughs> I don't think you could project to New Jersey. <laughs> Play to New York. Keep after him, Arlene. I think it's Ollie the Dragon. <laughs> Are you considered a character actor? Well, I want you to know this is an extreme compliment because I've waited for years for someone to acknowledge my she did, your character? She didn't say you were. She asked you if you were. <laughs> I think I'd have to give you a no on that. That's one down right. and nine to go. Is it my turn now? <laughs> yes, it's your turn, Mr. Seth. Uh, have you ever done anything on the stage besides acting? Oh, yes, Mr. Seth, I have. Have you ever directed any plays? I've never directed a play. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. When you say that you've done something on the stage besides acting, do you mean that you may have done something in a show connected with music? Something in a show connected with music? You're mm -hmm. right, yes. Something connected with music. Uh, do you either sing or dance? I didn't hear you. Do you either sing or dance? I neither sing nor dance. That's three down and seven to go, Mr. Allen. Do you, I mean, I mean do you play a music instrument? <laughs> I didn't hear you, Mr. Allen. I'm not doing so well with you either. <laughs> I said, uh, do you play a musical instrument professionally? Well, yes, I play a musical instrument, too. You sound like you've been playing it all day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it a wind instrument? Is it a wing? <laughs> a wind instrument? A wind instrument. Oh, no, Mr. Allen. <laughs> Four down, six to go, Miss Francis. Now, look here. Uh, <laughs> you tell him, do you, uh, do you use your hands with this instrument? Oh, I mean, yes. are your hands the primary means yes, of Francis. locomotion between you and the instrument? Oh, yes, Miss Is Francis. the instrument too heavy to be carried around the house on your back? <laughs> Well, I'm afraid it is just a little... Is it a pie, Annie? A what? A piano. A piano? Uh-huh. Ah, oh, yes, Miss Francis. That's what I thought you said, and I know you're not Oscar Levant, are you? Oh, no. No. You're a different type fellow. I bet you've played at Carnegie Hall, even. I have had occasion to play at Carnegie Hall, Miss And Francis. I'll bet that uh, it isn't King and it isn't Prince. And it isn't Earl, but it's Duke something. Duke Ellington. Duke Ellington. <laughs> and actually, you know, I was just wondering whether Dorothy was going to guess. I, I know thought she'd guess. Dorothy is a great lover of Duke's music and goes to the band box here in New York where Duke has been playing. 
And I thought Dorothy might get it with that soft voice. I'm embarrassed. He fooled sure. me. Well, Duke, you embarrassed him. I love you for it. Oh, thank you very, very much. much. I didn't get very again. far, though. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. panel, in the case of our mystery challenger, we get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with Miss Arlene Francis. Are you part of the entertainment world? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you a performer? Mm-hmm. <laughs> a delicate one. Uh, would you be considered a leading man? <laughs> of the theater, uh, and its alignment with the theater is so close, we'll give you a no, so we don't mislead you. One down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Well, am I correct in gathering that you're a representative of the male sex? <laughs> <laughs> that was a yes. Please. That was a yes. Uh, are you grunting this way because if you talk, we would probably recognize your voice? Mm. Yes. <laughs> uh, would you be in any possible possibility connected with the world of music in some way or other? He's left. Mm. Is, that, is that a yes? That's a yes, too, yeah. I, uh, I just have a wild idea. Uh, do you uh, play an instrument yourself occasionally? Mm. I, yes. I don't know what that means. That means yes. Mm -hmm. Would you, by any chance, uh, have a, a very famous nickname that is known all over the world? <laughs> <laughs> Something like Satchmo? Ah. <laughs> well, yeah. I still, I still got the best story about this. Actually, I haven't had a chance to talk to Mr. Armstrong before the show, but we had a great discussion about it. And I just asked one of the folks in the show, Bob Back, I said, well, what is, what is Louis Armstrong going to do? How is he going to disguise his voice? He's always going way up. <laughs> This is the way he sings his song. <laughs> is that the highest step you could get? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I would have sing it, you know. Actually, I'm afraid, Louis, that it was high for you, but yeah. it just wasn't high for the rest of them. That's all. That's all. George, there's a lot of records there. There's a lot of records there. That's seen you folks. Well, why did... Why don't you let me say thank you? Uh, I'm only sorry you weren't going to be here with us longer. I wish you could have gotten higher, but why don't you go up and say hello to the folks at, on the panel? Well, I'll get higher you. next time. I'm going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. Go up and say hello to the panel. Don't forget to swing your feet at a little old place at Basin Street, because that's where we swing it. <laughs> Blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, John. Yes, Good. Sir. Will you enter Mystery Challenger and sign in, please? As you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, a different form of questioning. One question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise. And we'll begin with uh, Bennett Cerf. 
Have you ever starred or played a very important part in a motion picture? Yes. Miss Kilgallen? Are you primarily a motion picture star rather than a record star or a television star? Mm -mm. One down and nine to go, Mr. Randall. Have you appeared on Broadway in a play? No. Two down and eight to was go, Miss no? Powell. That was a no, what, yes, sir. That was a no. Um, are you uh, a New York resident? Mm -mm. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Have you ever starred in a nightclub or at a hotel room? Yes. Miss Kilgallen? Are you currently playing at the Copacabana? Uh -uh. Four down and six to go, Mr. Randall. Are you currently playing in any nightclub in New York or dinner room? Yeah, yeah. Miss Powell? Oh, my. I think I've got it. Are you uh, appearing at the, uh, the Waldorf? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Oh. Sir. Then I, I take it you're not Carol Channing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> The dirty trick leaves me out on a limb. <laughs> uh, are you appearing at either the plaza or the pier? Uh -uh. Six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. Are you playing in Greenwich Village? No. Seven down and three to go, Mr. Randall. There's something we haven't established. Are you a man or a woman? <laughs> 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 This is very difficult to answer, yes or no. <laughs> Take your choice. Uh, the voice could be either. It's a clever job. It, are, are you a woman? Yes. Miss Powell? Oh, my goodness. I thought there were so many clubs that were closed. Um, <laughs> oh, my. Oh, goodness. <laughs> um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to pass on this. All right, Mr. Sir? I have the vaguest idea I passed to. Miss Kilgallen? Are you playing in a nightclub which is not attached to a hotel? Yes. Mr. Randall? Do you have a movie now playing in the Broadway scene? Mm -mm. Eight, nine, and two to go. Miss Powell? You're not Sophie Tucker, are you? No. <laughs> no. Nine, down, and one to go, Mr. Sir. She's Sarah. always yeah. working in a club. <laughs> you, you sing blues songs and, uh, and uh, folk songs at all? Yes. Yeah. Yes and no. I mean, I think you're covering one area, but but we can't give you any more information. Say yes, qualified yes, Miss Kilgallen. Miss Fitzgerald. Uh, are you playing in Basin Street East? Are you Ella Fitzgerald? Yes. yes. Oh. <laughs> I must congratulate the audience, because we passed Ben and Ben and Fitzgerald. And nobody gave any signal at all, so the Dorothy had to go and get it all by herself. I just drew a blank on Basin Street. I'm trying to think of every place and finally arrived at it. I can remember, Miss Ellis, about just about this time last year, you were in the inaugural gallery in Washington. Oh, yes. And Mrs. Daly and I were there, and you were wonderful. Thank you. As a matter of fact, why do I, with my incompetence in this field, judge? I think it is a matter of record that Bing Crosby has said, man, woman, or child, Ella Fitzgerald is the greatest. Oh, right. Thank, you. Thank you so much Thank for being our guest. Lovely to have you with us. panel, we go to the other form of questioning, one question at a time, in turn moving clockwise, and let's begin with uh, Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, are you a figure in show business? Yes. What? Yes. Mr. Sir? Uh, would you describe yourself as a big motion picture star? <laughs> no. One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. What did he say? I didn't know what that no. is. That was no. no. 
Uh, are you uh, more a person of the theater? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Hackett. Are you from the world of TV? <laughs> no. No? Now, this is not to rule out appearances, but we assume that your question, buddy, is asked in terms of regular appearances in No, theory. it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> Well, then we'll give you a yes and no, admitting that there are appearances on television. That makes it two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, now, I did say show business, didn't I? And we distinguish between show business and sports, don't we, John? Uh, well, actually, we agree that sports is generally in the it's... area of show business, but if you'd like to ask a well, question... Well, I, I thought we called, show, uh, we called it entertainment rather than show business. That's right. You're right, Dorothy. That's right. Okay. I'm going to stick with... What else could it be? Radio? For heaven's sake. Uh-uh. He said he uh, was show business. He was show business. Records. Um, yeah. all right. I'll take Buddy's big tip. Uh, are you a recording artist? Yes. Mr. Sir? What? Was yes. It? Mm. Uh, <laughs> would you be possibly, uh, about to do, uh, one, a one-man show somewhere around New York within the next week or two, down Long Island, possibly? Mm. No. No? <laughs> Three down and seven to go, Miss Preston. A recording artist. Are you a, a musician? Uh, yes. Mr. Hackett? What was that? Yes. A uh, are you a band leader? Yes. Miss Kilgallen? Is that a yes? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, are you Duke Ellington? <laughs> <laughs> no to that. Four oh. down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Do you wear glasses a great deal of the time? Oh, yes. Are you Benny Goodman? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, there are many things that I was going to congratulate you about, Ben. But I think this was the best of it. We had him on the ropes there for a brief period anyway. Well, in kind of a short time, I would say. For a short time, we had him on the ropes. May You're I? You're answering almost in Russian, Ben. <laughs> that was such a deep I voice. I was getting to that. Nepanyamayu, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Tavarish. Tavarish, Nepanyamayu. May I congratulate you on a great service done your country and certainly your profession with that great tour in Russia, Ben. Thank it's you. wonderful to have you. As I dare say, 99% of you will remember from reading the, the newspapers and listening to radio and television, it, Nikita Khrushchev does not like jazz. It all goes boo, 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 he says. But then I don't think that any, anything Nikita likes, anybody else would like anyway. So that's par for the course, basically. <clears throat> One thing I would like to ask you, reading a story in The Times, uh, an interview with you right after you got back, mm -hmm. it makes the point that your tour grows to half a million dollars in the Soviet Union. Does this mean a half a million dollars for the Soviet Union as a matter of the exchange program? Well, I think so. I think it was left over there for some reason. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be hard to get it out anyway, Ben. That's for, that's for certain sure. Yes, right. But is it under the exchange program, in other words, when an American uh, artistic group goes over there, they in, are the sponsors and the producers or the impres impresarios. Well, I think it's a, joint, it's a joint venture between the State Department and the Russians. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, overall, you found the Russian people were remarkably responsive and, and uh, friendly, did you? Yes, very much so. Yes, we played to very large audiences. We were supposed to play in 2,000-seat houses, and we wound up playing in 12,000-seat 12, houses. 12,000-seat yes. houses, that's uh, great. Oh, and I wonder... think we were playing right here in New York City. Right. It was really unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. One thing that, that uh, this story in the Times said about uh, Mr. Goodman and his, and his band was that when he got over there, he found out that the music of Glenn Miller was very well known. And when I've been in Moscow, and we go to the, what we used to call the Crocodile, the big restaurant that, you know, that's up near the Telegraph uh, Center in, in Moscow, you can walk into one of those nightclub rooms where they're dancing and you'd think Glenn Miller's band was playing. They've right. copied the, the, the arrangements so thoroughly. Well, that's because the uh, picture Sun Valley Serenade has played there for the last 18 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So all the arrangements came from that. Oh, well, he uh, introduces, that introduces number as Russian pieces. When they, <laughs> get, when they get a picture over there, uh, they keep it. 
and uh, they keep playing it over and over again. They neglect to pay any royalties to the company that sent it over, but they never send back the film once they get it. <laughs> so they have the same pictures there. You can go back to Moscow year after year, and you will see the same pictures playing different theaters. They swap them around. I yeah. think we were lucky to get Benny back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must say, the citizens of New Haven are fortunate because, if, again, if my reading is serving me well, there's going to be a kind of a homecoming for Benny Goodman and his fine orchestra and his artists in the Yale Bowl next Saturday. That's right. Yeah. And this ought to be the wing ding to end all wing dings. And I know you've also been invited to Washington to, to meet with the president. I don't know what the details of the dates are, but congratulations Thank again and thanks for doing our Thank country you. a great service. One question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, <laughs> we'll begin <laughs> with Dorothy Kilgallen. <laughs> Did you mention my name, John? Yes. Sir. Are you primarily a motion picture star? Nope. One down and nine to go, Mr. Burke. Are you, uh, 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 on the other hand, a famous comedian on the stage? Two down and eight to go, Miss Francis. Are you appearing at the present time in either a club or a theater in New York? Nope. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Hunter. Uh, are you basically a television star? Nope. <laughs> One down and six to go, Miss Gildellan. Have you ever been a member of this panel? <laughs> I didn't what get happened? the didn't yes. get the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 You have been a member of this panel? Uh <laughs> but let me have this smoke gun. So your question is, have you ever been a member of this panel, right? That's right. And the answer is no. Five down and five to go, Mr. <laughs> Sir. Are you related to anybody that has anything to do with What's My Line? Are you related to anybody who has anything to do with What's My Line? <laughs> no. <laughs> Six down and four to go, Arlene Preston. What happened? I, we can't hear anything. Bennett said, are you related to anybody yeah. who has anything to do that with I What's heard. My Line? And, and our guest said, no. No. And our, and, and our guest is not in the theater. He's not appearing in a nightclub, and he's not known for his work in pictures. What is he doing here? <laughs> Are you primarily a comedian? Nope. <laughs> Seven what? down and three to go, Mr. Hunter. No? Are no. you in uh, the, the sports world? Nope. Eight down and two to go, Ms. Kilgallen. No, no, I guess. Uh, do you make records? <laughs> yes, Mr. Sir. What? <laughs> uh, have you a record that is it has been the last six months one of the top ten records in the country? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Miss Francis. I know it's, it's not Van Cliburn, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Your question is, is it Van Cliburn? Am I the last one? Because let's well, have a conference. Have a no, that's a no, and it's nine down and oh, one to right. go, and Mr. Hunter. Well, can we have a conference? You may have 30 seconds for I mean, a conference. I mean, only if you want one, Rob. Yes, I'd like one. What about Satchmo? He's got a hit single. I thought it might be his recording of Hello, Dolly. That's what, um, well, I'm going to get that, it, I'm not uh, sure. Anthony plays an instrument, and I'm going to maybe you'll get some of that. Uh, do you play an instrument? 
Oh, it is. Satchmo. It's Kilgallen. It is Satchmo. It is. <laughs> Satchmo. <laughs> I mean, I'm tired of playing it on the on the Victrola, <laughs> on the Hi-Fi. Sing me Hello, Dolly. <laughs> Hello, Dolly. This is Louis. <laughs> Dolly. Mighty glad to be where you belong. Right. <laughs> Darling, you still growing, you still growing. <laughs> oh, baby, the broom <laughs> and the band playing our old favorite tunes from way back when. Uh -huh. So, golly gee, fellas, little faith in me, fellas. Golly, never go away. Never, never go away. <laughs> Darling, never go from where you came. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Armstrong, one of those remarkable human beings who brings life and color and joy to every assemblage that he joins. Thank you Very so much. True. I must tell you one thing, having read the papers exhaustively, he's come to us. How long have you been at the hospital? Oh, about uh, four or five days now. Four or five uh, days. Uh -huh. I'm walking, yeah. And you don't. You, well, uh, the left shredder there, you know what I mean? Left shredder? <laughs> yeah, my left foot there. That left one gives you time. Uh, I couldn't stand up for a while there. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't do anything to your sense of humor. Cat come in the hospital and say, man, they tell me you have very close veins. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're a professor, so that makes two. I don't know when we've enjoyed the company of anybody as much as we have you tonight. Thanks Thank so much for coming to join us. Okay. And it was just great fun having you, sir. Okay. <laughs> Okay, panel, we'll go one question at a time. You have uh, roughly three minutes. Uh, fate's law prevails, and let's start with soupy sales. Thank you, Larry. Mystery guest, would your notoriety come from <laughs> your great work on television? Uh, no. Lois? Um, are you in somewhere in the entertainment field? Yes. Gene? Are you in any branch of music? Yes. Arlene? Is there more than uh, one people there? Yes. <laughs> Soupy? Are, are you, oh, there, there are two, two people? Is that your question? Well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> are you, are you, are you uh, musicians? Yes. Uh -huh. Lois? Are you, um, the, is the combination male and female? No. Jean? Soupy said musician, so I'll try for instruments. Does one of you play a saxophone? No. Arlene? Are you, a, um, are you a, a group that always plays together? Yes. Soupy? Well, do you play pianos? Yes. Would you be Whitmore and Lowe? No, so you're out and you have to take your mask off. You. <laughs> <laughs> Lois? I did, I'm not sure if you meant just pianos. Um, uh, 
Oh, dear. Do you want to pass? I, I, I better. <laughs> okay, Jean. Right. One At of you plays seconds. the piano, and the others of you play other instruments other yes. than the piano? Right. So it's like a trio? <laughs> well, you're no. hanging in there, Arlene. Oh, it's not a trio, and it's not a duo. Is it a quartetto? Yes. It's a quartet? Yes. Lois? A quartet. Are you a jazz group? Yes. Gene? Time is up. Does anybody have a guess? Modern yes. jazz quartet? It's not the modern method. jazz quartet. <laughs> <laughs> We've got here John Lewis, Percy Heath, Milt Jackson, and Connie Kay. How long have you guys been playing together? Uh, well, we started about 22 years ago, and our last change was 20 years ago with Connie Kay. So the drummer. four of you have been together for 20 years? Yes. Do you ever get bored with each other? Let me put it another way. <laughs> <laughs> Do you share administrative functions with the job, too? Like you also see the bookings and the arrangements and everything? Yes, we do. That's really amazing. Are you guys married? Do your wives get along? Yeah. Well, you've played all over the world, haven't you? <laughs> yes, we have. How many albums have you guys made? 38, oh. I guess, somewhere. 38 albums? 38, 38 albums? Boys. That's dynamite. That is unbelievable. <laughs> Where'd they find four jackets like that? <laughs> they get them made, Gene. Oh. That's the way they do it. Listen, we're going to ask you if you'll play something for us, will you? Oh. Okay, that's great. We're going to go backstage and we'll see when we get to you. Okay, thank you, Tony. Okay. Okay, now while they do that, let me tell you who's going to be doing what here. Uh, if I get it straight, where's my little list? Well, here we are. On the bass, going to be Percy Heath. On drums is Connie Kay. On piano, John Lewis. And on the vibra harp, vibra harp is Milk Jackson. And they're going to play Today, which was the theme song of the Today Show. And there they go. Okay, Lloyd, they're on. What's my line right after this message? They are the end of God.